What's up guys, my name is TechNubber here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a continuation of my previous video which was setting up and using URLs on your web server. Basically it's a short linking service, if you were to go to s.tcno.co which is my website, followed by a key phrase, it would be a short redirecting service, much like Bitly and the rest are. If you'd like to see how to do that, make sure to check the description down below. However, this video is focusing on its built-in API which is actually really cool. If we have a look at the URLs page over here, and we head into the tools, we can scroll down and find this over here, which is secure passwordless API calls. Basically, we can add and remove these short links with a simple bit of text, which is really cool. Basically, what this means is that we can use our Windows PC, our Mac or Linux PC to go ahead and type something into a batch file or something of the sort, and it will automatically reflect on our server over here. So instead of having to navigate to here, entering a URL here, a custom short URL, clicking shorten the URL, waiting for it to finish, we can speed up the process a hell of a lot by using a simple batch file to do this. And over here, I've got a simple Python slash batch file combination that will get us to do this. I'll go through installing this in just a moment. However, in the meanwhile, head across to this GitHub page, hit the clone or download button and hit download zip. Once you've done that, open up the zip and I'll be dragging and dropping this into somewhere like our desktop. And if you'd like to, you can go ahead and remove a license and read me from here, but I'll be leaving them here in the meanwhile. Basically what these files do, the batch file simply opens up the Python file in a never ending loop so that it asks us for a URL, spits out the short URL, and then asks us again for simple ease of use. Looking inside of the shorten.py, which is the actual functional part of this, basically it imports a bunch of libraries, It'll ask us to put in a URL to shorten. It'll replace the little ampersand character with percent %26 that it doesn't break the API, as you may or may not know. This is what the request URL looks like. It's got a bunch of ands here. And if there's an and in the URL, it'll get more than a bit confused and end up not working as expected. Basically to set the script up and to get it to work, you need to open up the shorten.py file inside of a text editor. Then heading back to your URLs page, you need to look down here for usage of the signature token. And we'll see this over here. Basically, you can see your secret signature token is this. Obviously, mine will be different at the time of publishing this. In fact, I think I would have deleted this entire short service because I've already got one on my website. This is just for an example. We'll be copying and pasting that into here where it says signature equals. As such, making sure there is no space and we'll save it. Now, the last bit of setup for this is to make sure that this file actually exists on your site. So obviously you'll be changing it from tcno.co to whatever your website is. However, because this is mine, I've got it inside of the S folder, urls-api.php. Looking inside of FileZilla, we're inside of the S folder and we have urls-api.php right here. Perfectly set up as we were hoping. Now the rest of the script you don't really need to change, it's super simple, basically you put in a URL, it processes it, asks you for a short name for the link, so it'll be s.tcno.co slash whatever you input here, and of course if you don't have anything, it'll just split it up at the last slash and include whatever the last bit of the URL is. It then submits it to your website, reads the response, and then posts it down here, so it'll process it and say the status, message, title, and the eventual short URL if it's successful. Then it also copies it to your clipboard for more ease of use. This is a script that I have made by myself and I find it incredibly useful when I do need to create short links. So let's give you an example. Let's open up the shorten.bat file now that we've edited shorten.py and this is what it looks like. Basically, we need to enter a URL to shorten. So I'll go ahead and find the URL that I'm gonna go to. I'll link across to the Python download page. Keep in mind, you'll need Python downloaded as well as a couple of libraries, but we'll get to that at the end of the video. This is just for example. I'll hit enter and it asks us for the short link name. I'll call it pydown for Python download. Once you hit enter, it'll send it to the server and tell you if there was success adding it. Title, download Python. Here's the long link and here is the short link. So there's no need to copy it out of here because it's already on our clipboard. If we head into our browser, head back to our URLs page, back to the admin interface, you can see that it was added here right now. So pi down, download python, python.org, and the full URL link down below it. If we open up a new tab, paste in the short link, hit enter, 
it'll take us to the Python download page, meaning that this worked successfully. And because this is inside of a loop, we can immediately start typing in another URL, hit enter, another one, hit enter. And because it automatically copies it to our clipboard, all we need to do is simply just paste it into a notepad file somewhere and we'll have it saved for whenever we need it. Super simple and really easy to use, and hence why I created it for myself and why I use it on the regular if I need to create short links. So how exactly do you go ahead and set this up to run on your own computer? Well, first of all, you'll need Python downloaded and installed. And because that's a bit of a long process, I'll make sure to link to a video down below. When I get around to creating that, I think I'll probably upload it the video before this one. Once you have Python successfully downloaded and installed on your Windows, Mac or Linux PC, we need to go ahead and install the requirements. So if we head back to the GitHub page, you can see exactly what is required. I've written them down here. We need clipboard and XML JSON from the pypy.org project. So currently it's clipboard 004, released May 2014, and XML JSON 0.2.0, released November 21st, 2018. So all we need to do is copy this gray text over here, pip install clipboard, and open up an administrative or normal command prompt, depending on how you have Python set up, though I usually open administrative command prompt just in case. So press start, type in CMD, locate command prompt, right click and hit run as administrator. And we'll go ahead and paste in pip install a clipboard, hit enter, and it'll go ahead and download the latest version and install it. Of course, for me, it's already downloaded and installed. Then we'll download and install XML JSON. So we'll copy that, pip install XML JSON, paste it in and hit enter and it'll download and install as well. Once you've done that, the script is basically ready to use and you can go ahead immediately and start creating yourself a ton of short links and making your life a lot easier. Anyways, that's about it. This tutorial is a lot shorter than the previous one, obviously because I'm showcasing a little script that I made to make life a lot easier. And if you use URLs, you're gonna find this very important to have around in a folder somewhere when you eventually need to create a lot of short links because using the built-in web interface can be a little bit annoying sometimes. If you'd like to see the functionality of this expanded into deleting short links, etc., etc., make sure to leave a comment down below and I might get to that sometime in the future. Of course, if you'd like to know if I have actually got around to it, refer to the GitHub page and have a look to see if there's more than a few commits. You should see some more information down here if I go ahead and add anything like that in the future. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Tickle here for Troubleshoot. All of the links are down in the description below and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.